Hello friends, welcome to your channel HTEX. In the previous video, we have learned that how to install Cypress. Now today, we'll see that how to open the test runner and we'll execute some sample test cases. So before going uh, forward, so guys, if you are still not subscribed my channel, so please subscribe this channel and don't forget to click on bell icon to get the latest notification and watch this video till end. So learn that how it works completely. So let's go for it. So in the last video, we created a folder named as Cypress Automation as well as we download our uh, Visual Studio Code Editor to run and uh, write our, our code. So you can see that we have three contents like one is node modules, package log JSON and package dot JSON. Now today we'll uh, see that how to open the test runner. So first you need to open it through terminal and also you can run from command through the command prompts. So let's open the terminal. So here it takes our project path automatically. Now here to run one command, we need to type npx cypress open. So this command will help you to open the test runner. So let's type it and hit enter. So first time it will take some time to open it. Now it's opening. You can see this is a new window and this is our Cypress test runner. You can see all your test cases on the left hand side. And here you can see the browser that Chrome, Firefox and Electron. So you can choose any browser and just you need to click on any one of them. So it will open on that particular browser and it start executing. So let's go to our Visual Studio Code Editor. So here earlier that Cypress folder and Cypress.json was not there. But when we run this command in first time it opened or like uh, created automatically. Now you can see under this Cypress we have multiple folders. So these folders are mainly useful to write the test cases. If you can compare it with our Selenium, so in Selenium, when we, when we write the code inside the Eclipse like the IDE, so inside it, we mainly, uh, first we need to create the project and then after we create the package and inside the package, we uh, create our classes. But here we no need to create anything manually. Cypress is automatically create all this folder for us. So if you expand these fixtures, we have one thing which is example.json. Then inside the integration, you can see there are multiple test cases which contains the .js extension, which is your JavaScript. So these are your test scripts. If you click on first of this, so here right hand side, you can see the code. So whatever you want to write, so you can create one a file and contain the .js and this file or this test case will automatically reflect in your test runner. And you can click on that particular uh, uh, test case through the test runner. It will open in your any browser automatically. So this is how it works. Then inside you can see that plugins. In so then you have the support. Node modules. And node module contains the multiple files and the dependencies. This is your cypress.json. Which is empty now. But when we required, we can write something inside this. So all this thing we'll see that how to use this folder structure we'll see in our upcoming video. Now here we just opened our test runner. So let's see that how it works. Go to our test runner. So here you can see all your test cases which we have seen inside our uh, Visual Studio Code Editor. Those are reflecting here. Now if you want to run this file, you just need to click on this. Once you click on this, it will open this Chrome and run this test script. So let's click on it. You can see that it start loading, uh, opening the Chrome. It opens the new window, your Chrome and your tests are loading. So here you can see that it is start the execution. On the left hand side, you can see all the logs and right hand side, you can see your uh, execution UI. So every steps, every code you can see on the left hand side and the, your actions and on the right hand side you can see your execution steps. 
so this is how it works and that's what i already uh, told you in our first video that this is the great advantage of your cypress where it automatically like shows you that uh, whatever you code written inside your um, visual studio code editor how it works you can see also parallelly in your right hand side with the ui now it's already done and it's not take much time if you compare with other tool it runs really fast so to check the logs you can just expand it now here once you mouse over on any steps you can see that it's action on right hand side so if you can see that i am doing the mouse hovering on edge and every steps and now right hand side it's showing me that where your code it works so if you can see that get and after that type so here i just type this uh, email id and on right hand side you can see that it directly um, uh, reflecting that this text box earlier was empty and now it contain uh, some value so this is also a good part of the cypress because it takes the screenshot also this is the some advantage uh, list so one of the list uh, this point like it takes the screenshot automatically and create the video as well where we no need to create or write any uh, framework or any code to grab this screenshot so this is how it works and you can easily um, like debug through these logs now you can scroll down and you can see for others as well so this is the assertion if you can see that input password so it check that password text is here or not so it's assertion also working here so this is what the cypress test runner works and the sample test cases now if you want to execute the different one you can click on any or else you can close this so if you click on stop your another like open this um, existing chrome was closed now if you click on this again it will load your chrome and open in the different browser so this is really simple and it works very fast so it is started and uh, you can see it doesn't take the much time to complete your uh, all the steps and it's done or also if you want to rerun your script so you can see this run all test so once you click on it it will refresh and again it will start the execution again so this is your the window where you can see the test start or execution and stop this is your test runner where you can see multiple tab like test these are your tabs this the run like you can see some uh, screenshot some data and this is the setting so mainly you can see that there is a configuration so you can see some configuration here we'll see uh, in our upcoming video more about this now for this uh, the video uh, we are done uh, with our contents like the how to run the test runner and we already ran our sample test cases so guys in the next video we'll see that how to write the code and what are the structure or the basic commands of cypress so for this video we are done thank you and please subscribe this chair like share comments and don't forget the bell icon uh, for the latest notifications. Thank you. Happy learning.